Hello, this is Philip Kirkbride, and today I'm going to show you three simple calculators in the Ruby programming language. I'm going to start out with this as a base file. You can either pause now and write this out in a text pad or download the source files below. Once you have your code written out and the file saved, go to your terminal and run it from whichever location you have it in. It's going to ask for an amount and it will give you back whatever amount it converts to. So next we're going to do a tax calculator and instead of starting from scratch we'll just take our dollar calculator and convert it. So we'll change conversion rate to tax rate which for me 0 0.13 let's change the message the user gets to enter price change this variable here price and our tax variable is going to equal the price multiplied by the tax rate Now let's go over and run that same program that we just did. There you go, now we have a tax calculator. So now we're going to change our currency converter into a mortgage calculator. And first off, we don't need that variable up there. And let's change the message for the user enter loan amount. We're going to call that variable loan. Now we're also going to need two other variables for this example. One being the time of the loan. In months. We'll call that time. And the other being the interest rate. Now, I'm going to change that I to an F, So, and that's just, instead of converting it to a integer, we're converting it to a float, which will allow us to divide it by 100 to get a decimal. Now, the math for this example is going to be a bit more complicated. Now that's the math, and now we'll just change the end value that the user gets out back. Now let's come back to the terminal, and if we did everything right, 
this should be a mortgage calculator. Success. And that is three calculators using the Ruby language. And I'm sure if you use your imagination, you can come up with a calculator for basically anything using the same method.